Welcome or welcome back to Virtual Storytime with Miss Mylea here at the Broadview Public Library. I'm so excited to dive into today's story time with you. Let's get right into it. Are You Small by Mo Willems. We have a picture here to start us off. And... On our first page, it says, this book is small, but it has big ideas in it. Can you see? <laughs> a hamster is small, but it can be a big friend. I'll show you the pictures. A baby tooth is small see the tooth but it's a big deal when it comes out have you lost a tooth yet there we go and we can see the pictures a cookie crumb is small <laughs> but it is still delicious very very true a grain of sand is small but you can't have a beach without them. That is very true. Can you see the grain of sand? It's very small. A cell is small. See? But you are made of them. Wow. A water molecule is small, but they are essential for life on this planet. Can you see? A hydrogen atom is small. Whoa, that's a big word. But they make up 90% of the universe. See? Can you see it? <laughs> it's very small. An electron is a very small part of a hydrogen atom, which is a small part of a water molecule, which, as you know, is small. It is also very fast. Wow. A quark is also small, like an electron but trying to see one just might make it disappear. Really, can you see it on the page? Or did it disappear? I think I see it. There might be things that are very, very, very small that no one else has discovered them yet, but it would be a very big deal if someone did, can you see? <laughs> Some things are really small, but there is a small question mark here if you can spot it. Very cool. Are you small? Are you small? Just like our character in the book here? You are to me, you see, there's a big person with a little person. Stay tuned for our next virtual story time with Miss Mylea here on our YouTube channel for Broadview Public Library. And don't forget to stop in if you want to check out any of the books that we're reading in this virtual story time experience. See you next time.